Central Michigan and Western Michigan. Always a good rivalry here. Uh, Western Michigan, 10-point home favorite, 66 being the total uh, in this game. Uh, Western Michigan, um, they've been a funny team uh, the last few weeks. They get crushed by Ball State. Who's a good team? They crush Kent State, 64-31, and beat them down, and that's a pretty good team. And then against Toledo, with a guy making his first start of the year, because the, they made a quarterback change, because as I mentioned when we talked to Lito earlier, Carter Bradley was struggling, and Western Michigan gets wiped out in that game. 34-15, uh, turnovers were an issue. They actually moved the ball, but they turned the ball over. The defense kind of struggled uh, a little bit, uh, particularly uh, against the run. Uh, we'll see if they can bounce back here, uh, Western Michigan. The one good thing is out, off a loss, they played well. Uh, we've seen it this year. They lost to Michigan badly, and then they bounced back the very next week, shut out their opponent. They lost to Ball State. They absolutely annihilated Kent State after that. So it's a good spot for a bounce back for a good Western. Like I still like this team. They've had a solid year to this point. Uh, Caleb Ellaby's uh, a very solid quarterback here uh, for Western Michigan, uh, leading the offense. Uh, you know, they've got a lot of good uh, weapons to work with for him as well, with Kincaid and Tyler uh, running the football, Sky Moore. Uh, Jalen Hall, terrific receivers. I mean, a really good offensive team in terms of skill position talent. Uh, can they bring it here against uh, Central's defense? I think they can. I mean, we just saw Central give up 39 spot to Northern Illinois in a loss. Uh, they gave up 23 to Toledo, and that was with Carter Bradley still at quarterback for them. They gave up 27 to a really weak Ohio team, 28 to Miami. Oh, it's not been a very good defense this year for Jim McElwain here with uh, Central. Uh, going into this game. So yeah, I do get concerned about that. Western Michigan, by the way, has really controlled the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Usually this has been a tight series in the past. Not so much lately. Three straight yeah. meetings, 35-10, 31-15, and 52-44 to uh, in favor of Western Michigan. So three wins in a row for Western, and the smallest margin of victory was eight points. So I don't know if I want to take 10 with uh, Central. And I, I still think Western is... Not only the better team, but could significantly be the better squad going into this game with the way Central's just been way too erratic for me. You know, they barely beat Toledo. They barely beat Ohio. And then their other games against anyone in the MAC, they've lost. Miami O and Northern Illinois. Um, so I don't necessarily trust them to match up well. Uh, this could be a game where maybe Western Michigan first half, maybe Western Michigan team total can get there. That's what I like, actually. Uh, 36 and a half, the team total for Western Michigan. Again, lost to uh, uh, lost a couple weeks ago to Ball State. What did they do in their next game? They put up a 64 spot uh, in a bounce back type of spot similar to this one's. And look, Central's defense just hasn't been good. Uh, and this will be one of the better offenses, quarterbacks that they've faced here in conference play. So you could lay the points, but just to be safe, because you never know, especially in a rivalry game, like Central's going to be fired up to play Western. It's a directional school type of rivalry in state. Uh, but I like Western to get to 38 or more, which would cash that team total. So the 36 and a half on Western Michigan's team total to the over definitely piques my interest. Uh, what do you think here, Connor Mack? Yeah, they'll definitely be point scored. You mentioned it because the beatdown you, you talked about the last few years, because usually this is always a competitive you know, in my lifetime, I remember these games always being tight, Central and Western Michigan. The right team's favorite. I think 10 points is spot on here with this one. Do you kind of want to reach a little bit? Western take care of it, you know, at home. Ellerby's been really good. I think the offense can light it up, but they, they've thrown up their fair share of duds, you know, every once in a while. Central just seems to hang around, especially lately in games. So that's what I'm worried about. This one's very difficult for me. Um it's a game I'm probably just going to pass. I think Western's a better team, but I don't know by 10 points here. All right. Yeah. And you have definitely contradictory trends as well. Cause you've got the central yeah. Michigan's only covered once in the last five meetings, but the road team is eight and one against the spread, which would have you looking towards central. So I was yeah, looking at that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's tricky and that, that the road teams dominated, but, uh, not late, not head to head as Central had a good run of it here against Western. So that's what makes this one a fast. And what I am confident in is, is that awful loss like Western Michigan suffered against Toledo and their home here in Kalamazoo. Uh, I think you'll see that offense get revved up yeah. again. And Central's not stopping anybody here the last few. They're giving up 27 and 30 to the likes of Ohio. You know, and uh, Western Michigan should be able to get to 38, which is all you need because it's 36 and a half. I think it's very, very doable. 
uh, for Western Michigan to get to 38. So I like that team total. 